today's topic for discussion is topic of plant pathology that is wilt disease of pigeon pea its botanical name is kajanus kajan the disease it is a soil borne disease it is highly destructive disease of pigeon pea this disease occurs throughout india wherever the crop is grown even in india all the states grow pigeon pea for their seeds because it is a protein rich crop and this disease is very common everywhere for the first time butler a father of plant pathologist in 1906 reported wilt disease of pigeon pea for the first time besides india it occurs at several countries of tropical and subtropical regions of the world it is a cosmopolitan disease that means it occurs throughout the world and it is a very common disease of pigeon pea according to survey report of icrisat icrisat it is a research institute international crop research institute for semi arid top tropics this is the long form in 1980 reported that this institute has reported that there is a great variation in percent loss of crop due to wilt disease the disease may cause 50% mortality of plants if the crop is sown repeatedly in the same field this is their observation the disease causes a typical symptoms every pathogen pathogenic organism it causes a specific type of symptom what is symptom symptoms occurs after interaction of host and the pathogen expression of the disease after uh, entry into the host that is called symptom symptoms the infected plant shows a typical type of symptoms all the stages of the pigeon pea are highly susceptible for the disease as the pathogen is present in the soil and from seedling stage to adult stage the plant comes in contact with the pathogen and whenever the plant comes in contact it get infected if the variety is susceptible then it is very easily get it, uh, affected and infection occurs the typical symptoms of the disease are drying of all aerial branches gradual drying of plant occurs leaves of infected plant lose its turgidity and hang down and fell off the split open stem of infected plant shows dark red colored vessels due to the interaction of fungus with host cells what happens the pathogen is soil borne initially it comes in contact with the root system of the soil, root system of the plant and through the root hairs gradually it moves into the xylem vessels of the plant when it enters into the xylem vessel because the fungus receive food from xylem tissue only xylem is xylem tissue which which is the home for the pathogen and inside the xylem tissue gradually the fungus multiply and produces a mat of the mycelium and what happens the flow of water get blocked because of more growth of the pathogen inside the vessels of the host tissue if the blockage occurs inside the host tissue that happens inside the just above the soil surface inside the xylem xylem get blocked and because of the blockage there is no supply of water from soil to upper part of the plant what happens then because of no supply because of scarcity of the water the entire plant shows gradual yellowing of the leaves why the leaves become yellow because of slow functioning of the chlorophyll or non functioning of the chlorophyll because there is no water supply 
and the yellowing of the leaves that is called chlorosis of the leaves such leaves they hang down slowly and gradually they fell off and all the leaves get fell off because of no water and gradually the stem of infected plant dry up entire plant get dry up such plant do not produce flowers because there are no leaves and there are no flowers there are no leaves all the leaves they fell off because of no water and such plants are very easy to identify in the field whenever you see in the field it is very easily can be identified dried plants it is very easy to see and in comparison to healthy plants these appear yellowish dried total necrotic plant dead plant such plants when you take a sex you take a stem of infected plant and split open what happens what you can see there the entire xylem vessel that appear red in color and the red colored is a color is appeared because of the pigmentation in the fungus which is pathogenic this fungus interact with the host tissue and produce numerous hyphae numerous spores and even the pigmentation because of pigmentation that in because of pigmentation only the split open stem appear reddish in color this is the photograph of wilt disease of tur or pigeon pea this is the field and in that dried plants are wilted plant that is the wilt disease and this is split split open stem of the infected pigeon pea and the xylem tissue appear a dark color red in color reddish color this fungus it is the facultative parasite why it is called facultative parasite because the pathogen remains in soil on any type of dead organic matter it has a broad spectrum of host range many types of plants are the host of this fungus even on dead organic matter it can grow but whenever the host comes in the field it when it host comes in contact with the host uh, pathogen that causes disease such pathogens are called as facultative parasites that means in absence of the host that remains on dead organic matter and in a presence of host that causes disease this is the uh, therefore it is called fac such pathogens are called facultative parasite and this path pathogenic fungus it is a soil born fungus it grows at different types of environmental conditions it is present in soil of tropical region as well as subtropical regions of the world even in the uh, cooler regions of the world it it occurs in soil this is uh, and uh, its mycelium its name the complete name of the pathogen is fusarium oxysporum form species udum which causes wilt disease of pigeon pea the mycelium what is mycelium mycelium is the thallus of the fungus this fusarium thall thallus of fusarium is mycelium mycelium is many hyphae together known as mycelium or the thallus of the fungus is mycelium how is the mycelium of fusarium mycelium is highly branched that consist of septate hyphae hyphae are having septa and that are hyaline what is hyaline means colorless colorless means not white white is one of the color hyaline means like water water is hyaline colored hyaline means colorless and this fungus it is a strictly soil borne fungus as well as it is seed borne seed borne fungus and when the infective quantity of inoculum comes in contact with the root system that root system of the host that starts the infection what is inoculum inoculum is a particular smallest quantity of the pathogen which is enough to cause the disease that is called inoculum after entry into the host what happens initially the pathogen may be present between the cells but later on it becomes intracellular intracellular means when the pathogen occurs between the cells 
and when it enters inside the cell the hype enters inside the host tissue host cells that mycelium is intra that is called intracellular mycelium this fungus shows extensive growth too much growth in the vascular tissue how the entry of pathogen takes place into the host it is a soil borne as well as seed borne fungus fungus initially infects the root system of pigeon pea at seedling stage or adult stage of host plant already i told you that all the stages of the plant they are that is pigeon pea are highly susceptible for the disease at any stage of plant growth the pathogen can infect and cause disease the pathogen migrates slowly to the vascular tissue of the stem and growth of the fungus is seen inside the hollow spaces of the vessels plant vessels okay fungus produces how the fungus reproduces in presence of enough food material inside the xylem tissue that produce reproduce by producing different types of conidia or spores it produces three types of spores that is spores these are also known as conidia micro conidia number 1 and number 2 macro conidia micro conidia micro means very small in size small conidia and another macro conidia means macro means large large sized conidia okay and another type of conidia the fungus produces they are clamidospores so that the fungal hyphae in presence of any food material a fungal mat is developed inside the wash vessels and from that mat the sum of the fertile hyphae they gather and a stroma is developed and sometimes we can observe a small conidiophore and on this the micro conidia are produced at the tip of each fertile hypha the hypha fertile hypha which produces micro conidia they are called micro conidio fours micro means small conidia means conidia means spore producing hypha four means stalk like structure micro conidio four it is a stalk like structure of the fertile that is the hypha and that produces a micro conidia at a steep and these micro conidia the, a cluster of conidia are produced they are originated at the tip of the hypha and many conidia are produced these micro conidia are very small in size and the macro conidia second type they are larger than micro conidia and these are one to two septate conidia what are the structural details of micro conidia and macro conidia the micro conidia are small elliptical or and slightly curved these are micro conidia are unicellular uni means one one cell structures with one sometimes one or two septa occurs in the cell in favorable environment and these micro conidia are thin wall structures they measure about 5 to 15 into 2 to 4 mu microns in size and the macro conidia which are large sized conidia these are curved these are also produced at the top of fertile hypha the fertile hypha which produces macro conidia is known as macro conidio four okay macro conidia are also curved these are also thin walled but they are having 3 to 4 septa which measure the size of the macro conidia is 15 to 50 into 3 to 5 millimicron in size this is the <laughs> colony of fusarium oxysporium which we have grown in our laboratory and one of my student was working on fusarium oxysporum 
and the color of fungal colony on PDA appear whitish colony. Initially, it appear very cottony growth of hyphae and later on after maturity of the hyphae a pinkish color pigments occur on the uh, stem or infected part as well as on in the older colony of uh, laboratory studies okay inoculum what is inoculum just i told you inoculum means that quantity of the pathogen which is enough for the infection enough for the development of disease infection to the plant where it occurs where is inoculum where is inoculum inoculum is present in soil because after harvest of the crop what we do all the plant debris that fell off in the soil even the infected plant they are present in field we never take out the those plants uh, out of field because there are no seeds to that plant and the infected stem even that uh, deteriorate in the field only and that acts as a uh, source of inoculum for the next year and another source of inoculum is seeds always the seeds of infected plant carry the pathogen the pathogenic organism it must be inside the seed coat or external to the seed coat the study of seed borne pathogens it, it, it comes under seed pathology and uh, we can isolate the pathogen from seeds and the seed a of infected plant acts as a inoculum for uh, next year's crop okay and another inoculum where it occurs source of inoculum that is the plant debris in the field plant plant debris means plant debris means the non required part of the plant after harvest what we are taking only seeds of the pigeon pea not all the leaves branches etc those branches leaves that remains in uh, field soil that is the plant debris and that plant debris if it is from infected plant that carries the fungus that carries the inoculum for next year crop okay and this is a facultative parasite hence in absence of the host plant it uh, survives saprophytically on any type of plant material plant debris hence the dead organic matter of any plant present in the field acts as a, a source of inoculum this is all about the uh, another type of uh, spores which are produced by this fungus they are chlamydospores and these chlamydospores these are thick walled spores what happens in a in unfavorable condition in unfavorable condition the pathogen produces thick walled spores and these thick walled spores are produced inside the hyphae which are septate these septate hyphae in one compartment one chlamydospore is developed these chlamydospores uh, are the modification of uh, hyper hyphal compartment of the uh, fusarium fusarium mycelium and these chlamydospores are resistant thick wall spores and each spore consists of a single nucleus small amount of cytoplasm and remains in soil for long duration these spores are highly resistant to adverse environmental conditions and they act they also acts as source of inoculum for uh, next year's crop okay and now disease management how to manage the disease the pathogen is soil borne if we, you, we 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 think to use the fungicide for the management of the disease it is a very it will be very expensive because fungicides are very expensive and entire spraying entire field it is also very expensive therefore it across another methods have been recommended to manage the disease first of all number 1 crop rotation 
we, this is the very important method if you you have sown pigeon pea crop this year you have to take uh, next year you have to sow jowar crop in that field this is a crop rotation because the pathogenic fungi these fungi they are host specific in nature therefore they require a particular type of host to cause the disease hence crop rotation is useful helpful for the management of this to reduce the disease intensity in the field and uh, another method crop rotation is important another method application of heavy doses of green leaf manure into the field field soil promote multiplication of antagonist organisms that restrict the growth and development of the pathogenic fungus this is one of the method for disease management mixed cropping is recommended generally we grow the pigeon pea mixed with tobacco or jowar four lines of jowar one line of pigeon pea all we have seen in the field and uh, that is called mixed cropping method to avoid the disease mixed cropping with jowar is very common in india it reduces disease intensity and another method the wilt of seedling can be restricted by adding solutions of boron manganese and zinc during emergence recommended by sajofini in 1951 there are many methods many work of pathologists recommended different chemic different types of um, may, uh, management methods for the disease control pre soaking of seed in solution of sodium chloride salt is suggested by subramanyam in 1963 by using seeds of resistant variety for sowing purpose the disease can be reduced the resistant varieties of pigeon pea recommended are icp 4769 7118 7182 all these are the resistant varieties that can be used to avoid the disease early planted crops are usually affected more with disease several workers suggested that delay in planting and low temperature during sowing is positively related to disease control planting of seeds at proper depth of 10 to 12 cm can reduce the disease incidence another method of management a combination of carbon dazim and thiophenate 0.15 plus 0.10% were found to be very effective against wilt disease amendments of brassicaceae crop residues have been reported to reduce spores of pathogen from soil all these are the different methods of plant disease control and the disease is very important okay thank you